Hi everyone and welcome to my lecture, Introduction to Insurance Part 6. And in this lecture, I'll be explaining the law of large numbers as it pertains to insurance. Now please don't hesitate to send me an email if you have any questions. I will do my best to get back in a timely manner. So, the law of large numbers. This is a principle of probability. In insurance, it's used to help forecast future losses and help insurance companies collect enough premium in the event of a loss so that they'll have enough money to pay out. The basic principle for the law of large numbers is that the larger the number of separate risks of a like nature combined into one group, the more predictable the number of future losses would be for a given period. So let's take, for instance, a 17-year-old male student is trying to get insurance on a vehicle he purchased uh, with his summer job. His insurance premium ends up costing him four times more than what his parents pay for two vehicles on their policy. So this does happen quite often. And why? Because the insurance company is going to make sure that they collect enough premium by predicting future losses based on statistics from a large number of losses occurred by a 17-year-old male student. So let's just say that in 2017, and I'm just throwing numbers out to give you the concept, but let's say in 2017 there were about 2 million 17-year-old male students that were insured for the first time and in the first six months, uh, probably about 65% of them ended up getting into accidents that caused their insurance company to pay large amounts for claims. So based on those statistics, insurance companies will try to forecast the likelihood of a 17-year-old student or any group of individuals um, getting into an accident. Therefore, premiums are high for this individual. So the insurance companies use the law of large numbers to predict future risks. And this is um, why law of large numbers is very, it's very important in insurance because in order to, we don't know what's gonna happen. Insurance companies don't know who's going to get into an accident and who, who's not. We can only forecast or predict what's going to happen, and that's why it's important um, to have a large uh, number of homogenous units, meaning the same type of uh, group, and be able to predict future losses. And that's how insurance kind of works. They take those statistics and predict future losses. And that's why some people have very high premiums. And that's why some people have very low premiums. All right, so I hope that this helps you one step closer to obtaining your state license. Um, I also have a couple of lectures for home and dwelling on my webpage. I'm gonna link that below, so check those out. If you like, please let me know, hit the like button. And if you want to stay tuned for more lectures coming up, please subscribe. I will start posting more lectures. I know I've had um, a little bit of a dry area this month. So just look forward to having more lectures posted. Um, well, thank you. My name is Rebecca and I am your insurance lady.